Hello all. Today I will be talking about proc content. So proc content it actually help us to get the descriptive information of a data set, or you can also say that it gets the metadata of a data set. So what do you understand by descriptive information? So it is divided into four types. Okay, so you will get four content. So what are those? One, you will get the attributes. Second one, you will get the engine host information. Third, you will get the variables and its attribute. Fourth one, sorted by. Okay. Now, what is the syntax for it? So the syntax is very simple. Proc contains data is equal to data set name. There are certain options available which I'll talk to you and then run. So over here, I've taken sas help dot cars and I will run this. And now you will able to understand. Now the first thing what you are seeing is data set name, member type, engine created, modified, protection, label, encoding, observations, variable, index, length of observation, compressed, sorted, and all. So all these are basically your attribute. Next one what you see is your engine host dependent information. Okay. Here you can see number of data set pages, first data page, maximum observation per page, host created, file name, access permission, owner name, file size and all. For us, the two very important things are the variable and is it sorted or not. So variables you can see are given with attribute. So over here you can see all the variables from sysr.cars are given. But here, one thing we need to know is it is given in an alphabetical list. It is not given the way it is there present in the data set. In the data set, it is starting from make, model, type, origin. Over here, you can see it is starting with cylinders and then drive train. That's what we are talking about. So it is in alphabetical order. But can you see the type? Is it numeric type or a character type? What is the length of the variable that is again given? If there is any format used, so for invoice and MSRP, the format $8 dot is used. Then is there any label given to the variables are also written here? So these are nothing but attribute, right? And this is your variable list, but in alphabetical order. Now sort information is, is it sorted by? So yes, it is sorted by your make and type variable validated yes character set. So this is the information you get using proc content. Now let's come to the options available. So we have two options available. Varnam. Varnam will get your variable list but in your creation order. Creation order is this make model type origin drive train like this it will get. And all other details will be also included. So let me just run and show it to you Varnam. So over here you can see this table came, second table also came, third table also came, but make model type origin. Now it is in your creation order and sorted by. Then there is one more option known as short Varnam. Now this will get only the creation order of variable without attributes and the sorted by variable. So I will run it so that you will get to know. It's a bit slow. Okay, see, now we just got the variables in creation order and sorted by make and type. So we didn't get the attributes related to that. That is the difference between your varnum and short varnum. Now let's come to some interview questions. So they can ask you which proc you will use to get description or complete detail or metadata of a data set, it is proc content. Now, which are what are the contents you see when using proc content? So there are four types, right? One is attributes, one is your engine host dependent information, one is your variable, and then sorted by. Then how does Varnum and short Varnum differs in proc content? Just now I discuss in Varnum you will get all other details and your variables will be in your creation order. In short Varnum, it will get only creation order of variables and sorted by variables and no attributes will be shown. Okay. That's all for today. Daily I'll be uploading one video. Stay tuned with me and do subscribe my channel.
थैंक यू